good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, an online session of the National Assembly of Republic of Western Armenia was held. The Azerbaijan armed forces are actively shelling a number of districts of Artsakh in the direction of communities. Islamized of survivors of the genocide, the Armenian nation awakens in Western Armenia. Eco fascism is being developed in Tigran Akert of Western Armenia. Levon Yepiskoposyan, Azerbaijanis don't know who they are as a genetic identity. The president of the Czech Republic presented the Armenian businessman with the first degree medal for services. A beauty contest of the Van Cat will be held in the city of Van in Western Armenia. On March 9 on this year, the next online session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held. The meeting was attended by deputies from different countries. During the meeting, the draft electoral code was read out. The approval of the law draft was put to the vote, which was adopted anonymously. The deputies also discussed a number of issues related to the event scheduled for April 24 in different places around the world. There were also a discussion on other topics. The meeting was held by the chairman of the National Assembly of Republic of Western Armenia. Armenia, Leonardo Basmajan, and the Vice Speaker of the National Assembly, Neri Harutunyan. The Azerbaijan armed forces are actively firing the administrative territories of roads of communities of Kharamort and Nakhijevaning, or the Askeral region of the Republic of Artsakh, Honoshinak of the Martuna region, and Karmishuka with the various weapons, including mortars. Taking into account the current situation, law enforcement agencies are taking all positive measures to record the criminal acts of the Azerbaijan side and their consequences. During the days, threats to leave the territory use force were again made over the loudspeaker from the Azerbaijan a military strongholds located next to the Kharamort community, the prosecutor's office of the Republic of Artsakh reported. According to the Turkish professor Dr. Salim, coach head of the history department of Inonu University in Turkey, between 1915 and 1923, about 600,000 Armenians, mostly children, were Islamized. Now they should have about 4 million descendants in Turkey. According to the Italian professor Giovanni Guita, at least 150,000 Armenians, mostly children, were Islamized in 1895. At that time, there should be about 1 million descendants in Turkey. So today in Turkey there should be at least 5 million descendants of those Armenian children who forcibly adhered to Islam in the period 1895 and 1923, not counting the people of Hamshen, of Armenian origin, who were originally Christians but not of the centuries they evoked, that they lived in a separate ethnic groups and become Sunni Muslims after their regions were conquered by the Ottomans in the second half of the 15th century. There is evidence that a large percentage of the modern Turkish population has Armenian roots. In the photo, Armenian orphans from Adana, who were first to carry the flags of the Ottoman Empire, and a portrait of Enver Pasha, the murder of the parents of these children, as a hero and server. Enver Pasha was one of the organizers of the genocide of Armenian people. Turks often use and share this photo as proof that Enver Pasha did not kill the Armenians but saved them and built orphanages to house them. Today, millions of Turks have Armenian blood running through their veins. Islamized or survivors of the genocide, the Armenian nation is gradually awakening in Western Armenia, a strong rebirth of her identity that requires a reconciliation with the thousand year old Armenian culture, is one of the main tasks of Western Armenia. To Accompany these millions of Armenians in an identity metamorphisms at a time when the so called diaspora Armenians are fading away or distancing themselves from the Armenianness. Chairman of the Tigran Akert Ahmadi Nature Conversation Association of Western Armenia, Vaham Eshekli, raised his voice of protest, saying that they want to change their ecology and the sketch of the city. This is a crime against the city. Ecofascism is behind this. Fascism develops through ecology. The union was founded in Tigran Akert and continues to work with both Western Armenia and active environmental organization in the Middle East, participated in various actions against the destruction of nature and ecology, and also carried out various actions against the Kalb hydroelectric power station, built on a Syrian level, and the memorial forest built on Mount Kerklar. According to Wahab Eshekla, not only savage water but also medical waste fell into the Tigris River. Encroachments on this environment are numerous and it is impossible to describe all. 
on Western Armenia TV, the head of the Institute of Molecular Biology of the National Academy of Sciences of the Republic of Armenia, Levon Yepiskoposyan, spoke about the false policy pursued by Azerbaijan in the field of science, according to which Azerbaijan is considered the indigenous people of the current territory, despite the fact that a significant part of local population considered itself a descendant of the Turkic people. Nevertheless, according to actual data, regardless of whether the Azerbaijan is accepted or not, they are considered descendants of indigenous people, Armenians, Talish, and Albanians. The fact is that the Turkic invasions were in this region with a conditional 1 to 2 million people and 20-30 million people already lived there. In this case, their gene pool was only 10 to 15 percent, as it is now in neighboring Azerbaijan and Turkey. A clear proof of this is the closure of numerous genetic laboratories and a national archive in Turkey, which shows that a Turkish genetic code actually makes up a small percentage. Czech President Milo Seman presented a medal of the first to grow the famous Czech entrepreneur of Armenian origin, president of the international company Marlenka International, Gevor Kavetisian. According to our magazine published in Prague, Gevor Kavetisian is the first Armenian in the history of independent Czech Republic to be awarded such a high award. The Armenian ambassador to Czech Republic, Ashotova Giman, who was present at the ceremony, noted with joy that the awarding of Gevor Kavetisian is also the pride of Armenians and how Halila appreciates the contribution of the Armenian entrepreneur not only in the Czech Republic but also in the development of Czech-Armenian relations, strengthening ties with Armenia. As part of the Van Shopping Fest event, the municipality of Van will hold a beauty contest for the Van cats that have already received the prize. In order to advertise the city under the auspices of mayor's office, the event will be held in a cooperation with Chamber of Commerce and Industry and a number of other departments. It will be held from March 15 to March 29. Numerous colorful events will be held within the framework of festival. Only white cat must participate in a competition. They must be six months old and older. The first, second and third place cats will receive awards in the form of gold medal. Now the musical part, the melody of the folk song Gohtan Mangti. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.